Hey Virgo, this is Soul. And Virgo, this is your two weeks ahead in terms of messages beginning October 9th through uh, October 22nd, 2017. The messages will also be for uh, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising. Okay, Virgo, I hope all is well. Let's get right into your uh, messages here. All right, for some of you, you have the uh, overall energy of the Four of uh, Swords in the upright position. So this is actually pretty good. This is a rest for the next two weeks, it might be for some of you to take time out and there's a rest period coming up. This is a rest period, re relaxation, rejuvenation, downtime, me time. Now, th don't get me wrong, because this rest and relaxation could be with another person if you're, you know, linked romantically. This card also is um, future trip planning and vacationing, but you may not be uh, traveling uh, within this two week period of time, you might be just, you know, trying to decide where to go or, or planning where to go. Six of Swords gives me the, the traveling, the actual movement. OK, so but it is um, a message that's coming in that's necessary for some of you to take a break from something or someone, um, whatever that is for you. I'm jumping around here because I'm tying in a message to what I just said, that the King of Swords is sh showing up underneath um, the four resorts. So maybe there's someone who needs to take a break from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. Even though the king shows up, it could represent uh, female energies, but it's positive still in the upright. So it's usually uh, someone, if it's not um, you dealing with, you know, another direct energy that is, you know, a true air sign, then it could be just you within this two week period of time uh, to be very determined and using that sword to take time out for yourself. Take a break from some things that may be stressing you out, because even the you know, even though these are good cards that are showing up, the swords always are route with, uh, you know, some sort of com you know, conflict and some sort of mental stuff going on. Uh, also, too, I feel that there's a uh, major decision making for some of you, however, that's related to you and what you have to uh, decide upon. I don't think it's just, you know, having to decide on knowing that you need to take a break. There's something else that's coming in. So it might be multiple things that are required of you to, you know, take this time out for yourself. You know, this could be meditation. This could be, um, you know, like I said, relaxation. This could be going to the spa, getting a massage or something, something that is going to uh, lessen the conflict in the upright position. That means that there was some sort of minor conflicting energy that was uh, forcing you to take time out and take a break from, a you know, an actual person, situation, event. And you need these two weeks to, you know, regain or, you know, basically rejuvenate. All right. So the six of cups in the reverse, it could be the indication of a past relationship that you needed to take a break from. Six of cups normally in the upright is about sometimes uh, cups, you know, represent love and emotions, lovers from the past returning. Also, too, it could be um, because this is a general reading and not a love reading. Um you know, this could be, you know, long term family members that you haven't seen in a while, uh, friendships that you haven't seen in a while. This could be the completion of someone from your past reconnecting from you. OK, I'm giving you multiple messages here, uh, Virgo. So you have to attach it or apply it to your situation. I do get to feel that someone needs, needed to take a break from a past relationship that could be. A, a, a romantic relationship or ex-romantic relationship or a you know friendship or it could have you know been a family situation this is also a time a period of uh reflection so it may be that it's showing up in the reverse because maybe in some sort of time span prior uh someone was being memorialized someone that was close to you that brought on the six of cups energy uh, emotional happiness and then you may have been saddened um, because it was the passing of their anniversary or it could have been if it wasn't an actual passing could have been um, yeah it could have been someone's anniversary but not passing could have been a wedding anniversary but this is from a, this is from the past the distance 
or may have been thinking about someone from your past, family members, whether they're present or they're, you know, in the spirit world. That's uh, the reason why the Six of Cups is showing up, okay? But someone is taking or needs to take a break or a rest from someone, something, or some, you know, some situation or event. Next up following the uh, Six of Cups is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse too. So this is not necessarily a uh, indicator of anything bad. Just pay, pay attention that for, you know, the next two weeks, uh, I don't associate bad luck with this Wheel of Fortune. It all depends on where, um, just think of the wheels continuously spinning around and then where you are in terms of placement. Just, it's not a good time to take any unnecessary gambles or risk when it comes to um, money, relationships, or any other significant things that are going on in your life. This is the, the reason why this 10, the will of fortune is in the reverse. That could be something that brings on some sort of mishap or misfortune for you. I don't like to say bad luck because, you know, I'm, not this, I'm saying it doesn't exist. I just don't. I don't read like that. I don't pick up energy like that. I think the the fortune card, when it's in the reverse, is things that we bring on to ourselves that lend, land us into some sort of misfortune. So I'm giving it to you um, as to what could occur. This is a card of not taking unnecessary gambles or risks with your money or relationships or any other things that are significant for you because there, you will suffer a loss. OK, or some sort of misfortune following. Yeah. OK, following that, if you don't heed the advice, then it's the ten of swords that brings on the conflict of the because it follows the, the will of fortune. OK, this is a card of trust for me. So this is actually a card of trust and backstabbing. Trusting too much placing too much emphasis with another person outside of any relationships aspects the um, ten of swords represents possible surgical procedures someone having inpatient outpatient uh, surgery and it's you know ten of swords in the upright is very painful so if you you know if you're having a surgery or if you know someone who's having a surgery yeah they more than likely will go under but when they come out then they'll start feeling the effects of the surgical uh, procedure Okay. Conflict, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female might be part of the backstabbing energy or some other exchange. The 10 is something to potentially always come and then it's a clearing. So it's going to be a change. Some sort of change of uh, energy for you, which is I feel is for the better. Because the 10 is the highest in terms of the conflict that you can go. And the lower cards and the pips, I guess, whatever you want to call them. No, the pips are the... Oh, don't get me started. Anyway, 10 of swords is in your reading. So whatever that is or however it affects you or impacts you, that's what it is. King of swords, I already spoke about being very determined, having something major to decide on, using that sword to clear up any uncertainty or confusion in any old area of your life. And like I said before, it can be applied to you having to be very determined to take a break from things, take a break from people um, and so forth. It might be an actual uh, time off from work. OK, someone is insecure, not feeling good about a, possibly a relationship since the eight of Pentacles is underneath the six of cups and it's in the reverse. So this is a card of options as well. But, I, you know, when the Eight of Pentacles shows up and it's in the reverse, normally because the Eights represent, you know, strong foundation and building upon things, this Eight in the reverse, uh, because it's the element of the Pentacles, represents instability and insecurity. So whatever that instability and insecurity type of feel that I'm feeling for you, uh, but I do feel that it's it's if it's not a romantic relationship because of the uh, top card being the six of cups that's in the reverse, then it's something else. It's, it's another type of relationship uh, bringing on because the pentacles is your energy. 
could be with another, you know, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, male or female, or water signs, any energy. But someone is feeling insecure or not feeling secure when it comes to a relationship. And what's following that Eight of Pentacles is the Queen of Wands. This is an actual person. So someone may be in a relationship or having some sort of dealings with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. And the insecurity is, is brought on or the instability of any aspect of a relationship, whether it's romantic or friendship, it's because of the fire sign. If it is a true fire sign that their energy is something wrong with their energy. Okay. Queen is in the reverse. And then actually her back is towards the pentacles, which would be your energy. So there's something going on uh, related to a relationship that might be uh, involving a fire sign or another earth sign, water sign, any sign. Um, Outside of any uh, relationship aspects, the queen sits underneath the uh, wheel of fortune. Okay, so that could be the message that I had stated before, not to take un you know unnecessary risk or gambles with uh, finances or any other areas of your life. Relationships come into play as well. All right. Decrease. Um, you know, energy for some of you that need to take a rest with the four of swords is indicated with the queen because these are uh, the queen of wands is physical cards of movement. So in the reverse, it's usually less energy, just feeling less uh, intense and passionate. All right. Then we have the knight of pentacles. So uh, you have your energy. At the tail end of your reading, this, this is the knight in shining armor, okay? Um, trying to see if I can get a direct connection with the knight of pentacles. This is usually someone who comes to aid you uh, with their resources. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be financial. It could be just, you know, uh, aiding you with uh, some sort of, you know, giving of their time towards you. This also could represent you being generous to someone else and aiding and, you know, sharing your uh, resources with another person. But because I'm reading for you, I feel it's more uh, coming towards you than going out. And then the fact that this is your energy facing this fire sign, that's where I get the relationship that there's something going on between fire and earth. Uh, and it's the fire's energy that's not... Uh, sitting well with um, Virgo. The knight mirrors the eight of coins or the eight of pentacles in the reverse. That's an instant, automatic insecurity, instability. However, the relationship aspect applies to you. Romantic, friendship, family, something going on. Queen comes in as an older person, so it might be a mother, grandmother. Something's creating... Uh, some sort of sense of instability for uh, a Virgo with a relationship with what I just said. All right. So I hope this is helpful and beneficial. You got multiple people here. So there's exchanges of a lot of stuff and, you know, could be exchanges with a lot of energy in this upcoming week. This Knight of Pentacles could also represent someone getting a, a job or a promotion. Okay. Yeah, normally I get a connection when I see certain cards, but I'm not feeling anything with this Knight of Pentacles under this uh, Ten of Swords. And that's why I was a little bit hesitant because I'm like, well, let me see if I can get a feel if there's a message related to these two energies. But I'm not picking up anything. So with that being said, I'm going to leave it go. All right, so Virgo, uh, I've been using the Halloween Oracle cards to support your reading and again it might be just a message for those who need to um you know hear it and then the messages may not resonate with you or vice versa all right so i have chosen uh ghost and underneath it says regret 
So what it says in the book about ghosts is, should the ghost come gliding into your life during divination? It may indicate that you have some regrets to let go of. Holding grudges or regrets or burdensome work and it weighs us down excuse me, and it weighs us down eventually. By taking actions to free ourselves of these old burdens, we clear the way for more rightful and wise action for the future. We can begin to live again fully if we let go of what was and step into new possibilities. Now with all this uh this is the ghost having some sort of regrets. With all the taking actions, because the swords are action cards, mind you. And then we have the king of swords being very determined to gain clarity, using that sword to cut away something. And this is exactly what this ghost card is referencing uh, for some of you holding on to you know possible grudges, needing to take a break for yourselves away from situations events or other people uh, in your life that may have been causing some sort of emotional letdown or disappointment with the six of cups okay I can go on and on and on alright so this is your reading Virgo uh, I hope it is helpful and beneficial uh, again don't forget to look at your moon sign and your rising signs for additional information I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming two weeks ahead emphasizing safety as I always do Virgo because we are um, or at least have been dealing with some crazy crazy stuff uh, lately here in the United States and for my uh, international viewers uh, possibly your countries as well so love and light to you all and until I talk to you again, Virgo, please be well. Bye.